Hi, my name is Stephen. Uh, I will be presenting our paper titled A Deep Learning Neural Network for Classifying Good and Bad Photos. First, let us define what is aesthetic. Aesthetics is defined as a set of principles concerned with the nature and appreciation of beauty. This is according to Oxford Dictionary. In photography, aesthetics focus mainly on color harmony, composition, rules like rules of thirds, Techniques like motion blur and other personal artistic styles. Photography aesthetic assessment is a complex but interesting problem to automate. To showcase its complexity, I will show three example photos. These photos were submitted by photography enthusiasts on specific challenges and are rated by users in a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest. In this data set, photos with an average aesthetic rating of less than 5 has bad quality. Our first photo is a fireworks display and can be considered generally pleasing and well understood by audience. Thus, it produced an obvious high aesthetic rating of 8.57 and a small standard deviation of 1.47. The second photo is a kid trying to ride a carabao. Though the photo, ha the photo has a good color quality and symmetry, the challenge topic does not match the subject and theme on the, of the photo which might be the reason for its bad quality rating. This shows that aesthetics is context specific. Lastly, the third photo are birds flying in a seaside using blurring technique. While the photo is pleasing to the eye, there is no clear subject for, for the normal user to evaluate. It took me a few minutes before I was able to understand the elements of this photo. This photo has a good mean rating, but has a high standard deviation which indicates that there is a varied opinion on the photo's aesthetic quality. This photo showcases that aesthetic assessment is complex due to the vast number of styles and techniques which can be applied by photographers, like second and third photo. The lack of explanation like in the third photo also makes assessment less credible, and additional information like statistical measures, for example mean, in standard deviation help provide more insight. Other photos are context specific, like it's a second photo, and some require some le level of expertise to evaluate, like the third photo. Therefore, rating of this photo depend on assessor's background and skill set. Ideally, given a photo of any image size and assessment context, we want to know the rating and reason for of the decision. So, given a challenge and a photo of any size. We ask assessors for a rating, say between 1 to 10, and we let them point which part of the photo they like, or the basis in which they assess the photo. In most research, only 1 and 3 are studied, mostly based on binary or regression classifiers. Few research focus on predicting user rating distributions, and identifying which salient regions of photo directly correlate to the predictions. In our paper, we automated aesthetic evaluation by using deep learning. Instead of producing binary classification, our network predict aesthetic rating distributions using a predefined pre-processing algorithm. In this network, images are first pre-processed using, using a, a, a predefined algorithm and a deep CNN network is used using Inception V2 as based on the network, a fully connected layer and 10 neuron, uh, neuron softmax as output. The produced output is 10 scale rating distribution. Most aesthetic CNN models shrink input images into a one size and in most cases distort the image and its composition. In our paper, we want to identify if there's a particular image preprocessing technique which can improve the correlation of predicted and ground truth rating distribution. To answer these questions, we develop a neural network based on NEMA architecture. And to identify which preprocessing algorithm achieved the best results, we identified five preprocessing algorithms and trained our network using three dataset, dataset groups based on aesthetic rating range. So in the next few chapters, I will describe the pre-processing algorithms 
and two salience based algorithm which we developed for this paper. The first preprocessing algorithm is random or commonly called shrink to fit. This is the main preprocessing algorithm used by most papers. In this algorithm, aspect ratio is not preserved when images are resized. Images are either shrunk or enlarged to achieve the target dimension. Here is an example of a photo applied with this algorithm. Notice the distortion of the truth. The next preprocessing algorithm is center. In this algorithm, we crop the center region of a photo. In this example, notice the edge of the can is truncated from the leftmost side and the part of the body of the cat on the right is removed. In this algorithm, aspect ratio is preserved when images are resized before center cropping is applied. In this photo, we, we have a photo applied with a global preprocessing algorithm. The idea here is to resize the larger side of the image to the target width. Aspect ratio of a photo is preserved and when applied. Notice the black borders on the photo which is used by default by our code as field color if a side is smaller than the target dimension. The next two preprocessing algorithms are based on salience detection. The first salience based algorithm we created for this paper is salience merge. In this algorithm, we extracted salient regions and clustered the top largest regions. Our intuition here is bigger regions get more attention. Notice that only the region where the, f the, where the, where the flower and the dragonfly gets extracted from the photo. We also created another algorithm applying clustering of salient regions. Instead of focusing on large regions, we took we look at where the salient regions, large or small, tend to cluster. The top three largest clusters are selected. Our intuition here is people look at areas where the salient points cluster more. As shown in the photos here, we first identify the salient regions and cluster them. The center pixel of the regions are identified and the top three clusters are merged into one region. The final photo is then cropped from the original photo. In our paper, we identified two research questions. The first is which image preprocessing method best improve the correlation of predicted, predicted and ground truth rating distributions? And two, does focusing on the salient regions of photo improve the correlation of predicted and ground truth aesthetic rating distribution? To evaluate, we used our data set with 255k photos and our model is a deep convolutional neural network that is that used Inception V2 as baseline architecture. Earth mover distance loss is used as objective function. For our quantitative analysis, we collected Spearman's rank co coefficient correlation, SRCC, linear rank correlation, LRC, EMD loss, accuracy in F measure. For qualitative analysis, we visually check classification output of randomly selected samples. What is uh, earth mover distance? So this is basically the measure of the distance between two probability distributions over a region D, or the minimum cost of turn, to turning one pile into the other, where the cost is assumed to be the amount of dirt moved times the distance by which it is moved. Our network uses these measures as subjective function of our neural network. To train our network, Adam is used as optimizer. Learning rate is set to 1 times 10 to the negative 6 and batch size is 32. Learning rate is 0 0.95 every 10 epochs at the maximum of 50 epochs. We also uh, defined early stopping after 10 epochs in cases when there is no improvement in EMB loss. Momentum and dropout are also configured with, uh, similar to NEMA paper, which is set to 0 0.9 and 0 0.75 respectively. Our dataset is split into 80% training, 10% test, and 10% validation. We also created dataset groups 
and experiment on them. Uh, experiment in which aesthetic ra rating range a specific prepassing algorithm works best. So we have three groups of data set called unambiguously rated photos, ambiguously rated photos, and uh, all photos regardless of rating. So our first model is trained using unambiguously rated photos. This is composed of 57,760 photos. In this dataset, only photos with very high rating and very low rating are used. Photos with high rating has an average aesthetic rating between 6 and 10 inclusive, while photos with low rating have an average aesthetic rating between 0 and 4 inclusive. Our results show that Center produced the best model in terms of accuracy and F1 score. We also want to highlight that using this dataset, our network using each of the processing algorithm reached an accuracy of at least 91%. As shown here, among center, center outperforms all other preprocessing algorithms with an accuracy of 93.54% and F1 score of 0.9632. Our second experiment uh, uses uh, ambiguously rated photos. Uh, our network was trained using 187,743 photos. In this data set, the mean aesthetic rating of photos is between 4 and 6. Our results indicate that salience merge outperforms all other algorithms. As shown in column 2, salience merge beats all other preprocessing algorithms with an accuracy of 71.55% and F1 score of 80.811. However, this result has no statistically significant difference when compared to salience clustering. We also trained our network using all photos regardless of aesthetic rating. Our results indicate that center outperform other preprocessing alt methods followed by random and silence merge. As shown here, center preprocessing algorithm outperforms the rest with an accuracy of 77.65% and F1 score of 0.8522. Second is random followed by silence merge and silence clustering. Here is an example photo applied with global, random, and center processing algorithms. The original and pre-processed photo and their corresponding aesthetic rating are shown here. Here is an example of a photo applied with salience clustering processing algorithm. Notice that only the flower and the bee in the image is used in static assessment. And the last example is a photo with salience merge preprocessing algorithm. Notice that only the woman is focused by this algorithm. Our results show that be the be that the best preprocessing algorithm depends on the dataset used for training. Our experiments indicate that by default, center can be used as preprocessing algorithm for images of varied aesthetic quality, while silence algorithms are effective on dataset where there is significant number of photos with ambiguous aesthetic rating. While the silence preprocessing algorithm presented here tend to increase the preprocessing time due to the use of silence detection, k-means and region merging methods, it is simple to but it is simple to implement. In addition, these algorithms produce models with better accuracy and F1 score compared to other preprocessing methods used in aesthetic classifiers. For our future work, we identified three items. First, uh, integration of salience, salience algorithm with the network so its parameters can be learned during training. Secondly, study the effect of leveraging semantic attributes like a photo's challenge in improving aesthetic accuracy. The third one, is AI explainability, uh, applying uh, attribution algorithms to help explain aesthetic assessment result. That's all, thank you.